fantastic family recipe that really has been around for a long, long time in uh, the Barbecue Rando family recipe with Mrs. Barbecue Rando and I. And what we're going to do, as you can see here, I got veggies, peppers and onions. We got pucker chops. And uh, I got here about eight good, you know, decent sized chops. Uh, again, they're, they're defrosting right now, just about all defrosted. And what I'm going to do <clears throat> is make my version of smothered pork chops over rice. Okay, not pork chops and applesauce, pork chops, smothered pork chops over rice. So really what you're going to need, get yourself some pork chops. Now I'll put the official uh, recipe in the YouTube comments so you all can see it. Uh, I'll do it for a family of, say, uh, four or five. Of course, you know, we do everything a little bit bigger here. But get your pork chops. Then what I like, I do two onions. The recipe I'm going to put in has uh, just one onion that we were using that I wrote up. And then I like peppers. Okay, so we got three green, three red, two yellow. And then what you're going to basically do is get a skillet of hot oil, just a little bit of oil, you're going to put these in seasoned flour and you're going to brown them, put them to the side and then you're going to layer, which I'll show you, you're going to layer a pot with vegetables, so I'm going to dice these all up, chop, 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 chop. and then here's one of the secrets, you're going to add in cream of celery condensed soup, you can get any brand, you know I love Kroger, we actually have Fry's food stores down here in the, the Phoenix area. Uh, and then we're going to let that all simmer for a good hour and a half. And usually what I do, uh, if I use five cans of this, uh, I'm going to throw in a can and a half, maybe two cans of water, because it's going to need that to cook down and let the pork finish cooking. So we'll be right back. Look how beautiful these veggies are. And healthy for you. So, we'll be right back. We're going to start to cook. We'll see you soon. Barbecue. Smothered pork chops over rice. Yeah. All right. So, Barbecue Rando's back. And what we're going to do is we got the chops all ready to go. You can see here, I already got them floured. i got three chops in here if you can't find them. And I'm going to shake them, put in the seasoning in here. So, I always put in salt, uh, fresh ground pepper. And then I like to put in uh, garlic powder. You could add anything else to it that you want. I mean, if you like it spicy, add whatever you want. So watch this. We're going to come here. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. There we go. All right, now. Let's see if the oil is hot enough. There we go. Whoop. Come on, drop it in. This is one-handed. So these are almost done. I don't want to cook them all the way through because they're going to simmer. So I'm going to take this one here. This one looks really good. Some drain for a moment. Using a non-stick pan. You want to use a non-stick utensil. I don't care what they tell you on TV. It's going to scratch. There we go. Let's put them over here for a moment. Got another one here. Oops, just in here, you little sucker. I'm in. Mess with the barbecue. There we go. Thank you for that. Woo! Starting to cook. There we go. All right, now. That oil's getting hot. We've got to add a little bit more oil to it. we got a couple here all ready to go. All right. Shake it up. Put it in. All right. Do another one here. Got three more to go. Three more to go. We've got 11 tonight. There we go. Shake them up. Put it in. Barbecue. All right. There we go. We got, a, we got a little guy here. Looks like the state of Delaware. All right. Yeah, it makes a little bit of a mess, but man, it is so worth it. Cooking from home ain't nothing better than it. Yeah, you can go out to restaurants, but it never tastes like it tastes on the barbecue Rando Ranch. And uh, if you guys, listen, uh, you get a chance, go out to visit my website. BBQRando.com, BBQRando.com. 
There's links in there to my YouTube channel. I have cooking demos on the website. I got firework demos. And I got a discount store for you to go check out. I'm also on Instagram, Pinterest, and I'm on Facebook now. So, hey, go ahead and like me on Facebook. We can chat. We got more and more coming in the world of barbecue. Rendo. All right. We're going to keep cooking. We'll be back. All right. So, listen, if you're new to frying pork chops, right, getting the brown like that, go ahead and uh, don't, don't hesitate to lower your heat if you think it's getting too hot. I have an electric stove, so you could regulate it that way. Again, keep an eye on it. Don't don't leave. You want to, you want to stay here, right? And uh, again, I think you guys already know if you have children, all that. Keep them away, right? So uh, we're gonna be safety first. So is it the barbecue rando ranch? BBQRando.com. Yes. All right. Two more to go. We've got two more in here. Two more to go. Cream of celery's here. Got the veggies in the fridge already diced up. We're gonna start to assemble. I'll show you what it looks like. Be right back. All right. I'm gonna do two and two because I got four left. So never want to overcrowd a pan. There we go. Another one here. There we go. Shake them up. Shake them up. Shake them up. There we go. All right. Shake them up. There we go. All right. Now, these guys here, all I do is this. Just take them, throw them in, throw some seasoned flour over the top. You guys know how to do this. If you don't, you're going to love the barbecue rando. Barbecue rando kitchen. The barbecue rando ranch. All right. Now, watch this. I'm going to flip it over. Heck, I'll just use my fingers for this. Here we go. I'll put some more down. There we go. All right. All right. Put it to the side. Make sure it's covered. Go grab that last bad boy. Here, I'm just going to use my fingers. There we go. Flatten them down. A lot of different ways you could do it. So we normally do it. There we go. So I do like having the fork so I can move it around a little bit easier. There we are. Okay. Got the other ones in the pan. Two more to go and check it out. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start to assemble right over here in the pot. So we'll be back. Yeah. All right. So this is the oil I started with. More than enough for 11, 11 pork chops. So got the pan here going. Got some oil in it. Just a little bit of oil. Because I'm going to throw down a layer of veggies. Here's the 11 chops. So they've been browned. Haven't cooked them all the way through. They're going to finish cooking in there. Now, there you go. Cream of celery. All opened. I got a few extra cans. What do I got here? Three, five. I got seven. I like a lot of sauce. We're a sauce fa family. Oh, excuse me. And here we go. Here's all the veggies. It's rather Italiano like me, right? Red, white, and green. So, a layer, a couple of pork chops, soup. Layer, a couple of pork chops, soup. Then I'm going to put the rest of the soup on top. You can go ahead and season along the way if you want to add some more salt and pepper. It's really up to you. And then I'm going to pour. If you want, you could take a little bit of water in each of these cans and just try to get the extra... Uh, cream of celery soup. I don't like to waste anything. Pour it in. At least a cup. I usually do two cans. Uh, and then simmer it for a good hour, hour and a half. Depends on how much you have in regards to what you're going to cook. So, let's get started here. I'm going to start the layer. I'll show you when we come back because I got one hand using the camera. I haven't done the tripod yet, but we'll be back! Okay, so here's one layer. Vegetables. I put three chops, because I got a little bit bigger of a pot here, and I poured the soup. And I'm going to repeat that. And then I'm going to pour additional soup on top. You can season right here. Two cans of water. All right, cup of water. And cover it, lower the temperature, and let it simmer. 
Uh, sometimes the longer you go, the better it tastes. You want to get everything cooked down for the love. It'll be back. All right, finally done. So you can see we got a pretty big pot here. <laughs> this is a uh, 12 quart. So T fowl, get a T fowl pot. They're awesome. So here's everything in there, all layered, two cans of water. And oh, you put on as much cream of celery as you want. You, you can't go wrong. Remember, you're going to be pouring that gravy, that cream sauce, over the rice. So we're going to go ahead here and cook. It's getting loud at the barbecue rando ranch. We'll be back in an hour and a half. We'll see. Uh, show you what we got. All right, barbecue rando's here. Now, it's been almost an hour, and this has been simmering. Now, you're going to hear me say a high simmer, right? <laughs> This is a pretty big pot, so watch what we got so far. So you can see down in here, peppers are not yet completely cooked. But look here, and actually I just threw a little bit more freshly ground black pepper on it. Pepper. Yeah, so we're cooking down. Look at that. Pork chops are in there. See the chops on top? So I'm going to take my spoon here, push them down. There we go. All right, they're starting to get more... And more, not only smothered, but they're cooking. There we go. So, we're going to keep going. Probably another 30 minutes. I'll come back and check it. Want all the veggies tender. We'll be back. All right. You can see here, we are just about done. So, look at that. Mmm. Veggies are starting to get much more softer. You see all the... You got all the smothered sauce, and you want this because you want to pour this all over your rice. Look at that. Does that look good? Look at that. Mm, see the chops down there? Nice chops! There we go. Tell you what, this is a hearty meal. It's also a good time right now, which I just did. Uh, take a little teaspoon, taste it, adjust your seasoning. Right? And then, of course, you could always add more seasoning if you prefer. So, we're almost done. We're going to get some rice going here, and then I'll show you what my final plate looks like. Delicious. The pork chops are going to be just so tender, falling off the bone. Nice and easy. They're going to cut like butter. All right. Give you a moment there. What does heaven look like? Well, this is one thought. Barbecue rando smothered pork chops over rice. Barbecue rando style. Yeah. All right, so we are done. So here's my plate. You guys can see it here. You can see the pork chop. There's one there. There's another one covered over here. You can see the veggies. Ton of sauce. In fact, I might even put another ladle of the cream sauce on it so smothered pork chops over hot rice barbecue rando style look at that Whew. 